will be so surprised. Okay, this is day 104 of the coronavirus experience. And it's been yet another wonderful day. Ah, so I just got out and ran a few rounds today. My mom got her glasses. <laughs> Worked out well. Um, my grandson, you know, he had a little attitude. But it's all good, you know. It's all good because uh, I'm the boss here. I'm the boss. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's just been a wonderful day. Um, worked yesterday. Uh, well, I wasn't supposed to, because quietly I'm taking comp time, you know, which we lose if we don't use. And so I hadn't anticipated plan on, you know, being there that long, but what I needed to do, I had to do, you know, because people still got to get paid. People still need things done. You know, people going back to work. Yeah, so I had some stuff I needed to do. So I had to go up there. I didn't have to, but I went up in there and took care of that business because I know for sure I'm not going to be there next week, you know, because it's the holiday. So I couldn't just go three weeks in a row without going in and knocking out some stuff. I just couldn't. I mean, I'm only working four hours a week. I mean, the least I can do is go up in there and still make sure things, you know, get taken care of, you know, that I'm responsible for. So can't just let it lag like that. I can't. So uh, it worked out, though. It was a great day, you know, wonderful day. Uh, didn't have no incidents. Matter of fact, the um, temperature, um, they got it, I, I think it's, I guess it's go by your heat, your heat, your body temperature. So it's thermal or what have you. So I was able to put my forehead up to it this time. And, you know, it's like normal temperature. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's normal. You know, I'm good. You know, <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But anyway, had a smooth day. So, you know, today, you know, we got out, did a few things. Uh, my uh, grandson's birthday is next month, so you know I we got a few things for him today. What? You know his mom talking about some don't get him nothing else. I'm, I, listen, let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? I, his birthday coming up. You know I get a chance to spend some time with him. I, I'm gonna do what I do. If something else he needs something come up, I, I'm go get it. I mean what? I mean what? <laughs> so anyway, that's what grandmas do. You know what I'm saying? We we chastise, and that's why he had a little attitude with me. And because we're going to do this, we're going to do this on schoolwork, you know, and it's going to get done. <laughs> it's going to get done. And I don't care about your attitude. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, I quickly, he quickly smiled because he can't stay mad at me long because he just loved me. Don't you? I know you do. I know. Because he just loved me. You don't know if he shook his head or not, but you just take my word for it. <laughs> so anyway, listen, y'all. Um, I just had a quick thought. Um. Can God be captured or not? Just a quick thought. You know, Brother Anthony said something some Sundays ago. Um, matter of fact, this was before the coronavirus even kicked in. It kind of settled with me. And he said something to the fact that, you know, he's God is, you know, people say God is everywhere. He what said, movies? but God is everywhere. He said, but are you in God's presence? And that kind of sat with me because I'm thinking, Wow, that that's some that's like, am I in God's presence? So for me, it's like, am I living accordingly to even be worthy to be in God's presence? You know, the, the things that I say, is it worthy of being in God's presence? You know, that's something to think about. You know, a lot of us out here say that we're Christians, which is simply, you know, being Christ-like. Um, to be Christ-like, you have to know what Christ did when movies. He was here. You know, so I'm just like, a lot of times I don't think a lot of us get it. I think we really think that we can live however we want to live. God going to forgive us, you know, that's that. Is a I think it's a lot more to it than that. I think it's a lot more to it than that. And I, I think that we, 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 we take the scriptures and we, you know, we degrade them. You know, I, and I don't think, but I don't think it's on purpose for a lot of us. I think just. We don't have that knowledge, that wisdom and understanding and not being taught properly the, to get that, you know, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Holy Scriptures. And until you do that, until you really seek God diligently and ask him for that, your, you know, your understanding of the Scriptures won't be open, you know, and you really will read it and won't understand nothing in it. You know, and it, and it, and it hurts, it hurts because people... It's serious, at least for me. Um, I know one day I have to die. I don't want, I, I don't want to be spend eternal hell, you know, my, my eternal life in hell. I just don't. 
you know, um, and, and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be sorry for that. I, I I gotta do whatever I can to live according to those holy scriptures that I claim I believe. I can't be in a book that I claim I believe and be living contrary to it, thinking that I can do, you know, it's all good, you know, the mercy, the grace. What is what? If God has enlarged hell, he gonna put somebody in there. <laughs> I mean, come on, if he had, the word tells us God has enlarged, hell has enlarged itself. That's what the word tells us. So, nobody's going to be in there? I mean, all I'm saying, people, <laughs> are you in the presence of God? Because, yes, God is everywhere. God sees all. But are you in his presence? Are you living according to what his commandments are? Being obedient to his word? Man, that's deep for me. I don't know about you, but that's deep for me. But that was just a thought. So, people, let's stay prayerful for one another. Let's keep each other encouraged. You know, keep lifting up one another. You know, and let's just stay prayerful. You know, show that abundance of love for one another. You know, because we need it. Let's stay prayerful for those who have lost family and loved ones to the coronavirus and um, to... You know, heart attacks, strokes, you name it. I'm trying to be serious right now. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's, play, let's be prayerful, y'all, for those who have, um, you know, like I said, lost life, family, and, and uh, friends to the coronavirus, to heart attacks and strokes, to car accidents, and Lord knows all the violence going on out here. Let's stay prayerful. Let's pray that comfort, that strength to keep moving forward, keep pushing through, keep pressing your way. One moment, can I finish my video? Oh, thank you. So anyway, that's how I was saying. Let's stay, let's stay prayerful. Let's keep pushing through. You know, stand, you know, just help lifting and building one another. You know, let's not tear one another down. Let's not stop living, you know, our lives where you know we help people and and, and, and don't even expect them. Just help them. You know, let's not stop that. Let's continue to just unite. You know, and so as we move forward and we get to this new normalcy or what have you, let's stay prayerful for one another because we all need it. And, let, and also, y'all, you got to stay prayerful for yourself. You know, don't don't forget about yourself. We ain't talking about being selfish. We talking about still understanding that for you to pray for somebody else, you want to have that that mentality, that psyche together. You know, you want to be in that place because see, sometimes we may be in a place where. We're hurting, and we're just, just too weak to pray for ourselves. So we want somebody to be out there praying for us, you know, those heartfelt, sincere prayers. So let's do that, people. And keep in mind, sometimes you may have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you just may have to encourage yourself. And when you're out here living for what you believe, you may have to walk by yourself. You may have to let some people go. I mean, that's just what you got to do. Because for me, God is more important than anything. I, I, I need it. And I pray my strength to, you know, I pray to God that I have that strength to always stand firm with him. I got to stay on the Lord's side. Like the word said, who's going to be on God's side? I, I want to stay on God's side. So I want to stay prayerful. And as I always tell you, I ain't got to know you to pray for you. So I'm praying for you. Whether you believe or not, I'm praying. So listen. This is day 104 of the coronavirus experience, and I think tomorrow may be my last video. God willing, because <laughs> I understand I was not promised today. I was not promised today. So, God willing, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Deuces.